Ah, response video. I think do a few videos, um, but mostly to Earl. So, hey Earl, uh, Bike Messenger 7 guy, who I've been watching for well over a year, might be um, two years, three, I don't know, um, off and on. Um, yeah, because he's one of these guys, yeah, I've never really communicated with him, but every now and then he makes some kind of comment I really, really hate. You know, I see it on some other video or something, ended up blocking him. And then uh, I'll see some other video of his, and I'll say, ah, that guy's cool, and I'll unblock him. And uh, it is kind of funny. So, yeah, you made your video, and I had just blocked you, I think, in the last week or so for something, which is just funny. Um, I know it's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> it is ironic or something like that. Um, because, yeah, I generally like your videos. Um, I just don't like your comments much or something like that. Um... But yeah, thanks for the video. Uh, yeah, the, 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 there's a, a personal part of this that you just you can't escape. You know, as much as, you know, I'd like it all to be strictly some sort of machine argument, some kind of, you know, some sort of crucible where we could just put all our arg arguments in and, and a machine would say who wins, who loses, uh, you know, get this over with. Now we have to do this as human beings and communicate. And so that sort of relates to a modern mystic video. Um, you know, it had a, an orangutan saving a little bird and a chick in it dancing. And I don't know exactly what the meaning was, but who cares? <laughs> they were both interesting videos um, for different reasons. Um, and then even a Karina video, she did a new video. And... Uh, you know, she, she's very good at consolidating an argument, making a, a joke, you know, humor, um, you know, satire, uh, and to just illustrate something that's kind of ludicrous and foolish. And, and uh, so that gets to this whole issue of communicating, which is sort of what was on my mind after seeing Nick's video for some reason. <laughs> it's just that... Uh, yeah, why can't we communicate with people? I guess part of it was the documentary he linked to. Uh, the machine and the monkey, or monkey and the machine, whatever. And the uh, one part of it I did see. Um, and you're just saying to yourself, yeah, why can't people get their act together? What the fuck are we doing here? What the, why the fuck are we hurting each other? Why? Why what, what the fuck is that about? And so, I, you know, on that kind of subject, me and you, Earl, could really get along because, yeah, we're both like, fuck, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I mean, really. Um, you know, as long as you're not uh, a monster, and even if you're a monster, I mean, it's just, it's just, there's just something fundamentally, obviously, you know the game is broken if this is what you have to resort to. If this is how you have to play it, there's, there's no game to play. So in that, ironically, no, well, not ironically. Um, so another thing that popped into my head was a movie of uh, one of the cats I ended up with years ago. And, uh, you know, it was in the stream, just sitting on a rock. You know, somebody had tossed it off the bridge, apparently. And, uh, you know, it got its way to a rock in the middle of the stream. And so I just happened to be going by and I heard this little, little meow and uh, just very faint. And I just said, what the hell is that sound? And so I investigated and saw this little, this couldn't be more than like five weeks old kitten just sitting on a rock crying. And, uh, you know, in the middle of hell. I mean, a place it just couldn't go anywhere. So it could have been there for two days, who the hell knows. Um, and so, yeah, of course I rescued it. And, uh, you know, this really sort of like the Professor Anton, the word love, because that cat ended up just loving me. I mean, I was, you know, I couldn't even carry it um, back home. It, it followed me. And it was this little tiny kitten. I mean, it, <laughs> you know, could, and, and, you know, and I saw so I walked slower just so it could keep running and following me because it just loved following me. And, uh... So anyway, I, got, I didn't want a pet, so I gave it to my neighbor, so it lived next door to me. But every day it would come out and see me, and, you know, it loved me. Um, and yeah, so there wasn't, it was just like an obvious reason for that, though. Obviously, I rescued it from 
um, it's fear and it's terror and I gave it comfort and uh, it's just not more com complicated than that I got associated with care and comfort um, and so why can't we you know I mean just human beings why can't we pull each other off the rocks why, why can't we um, do this more sensibly and and I guess that's the other part of this argument is I'm still kind of fighting for something better than just doing it in our own lives so we're sort of back to the symptom cure problem and that um, you know what's 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 the right game to play I mean if you're gonna fight malaria tomorrow what's your approach gonna be are you gonna give people nets and you're gonna to try to protect them from the mosquitoes or are you gonna to try to eradicate the disease or are you gonna to try to stop the disease or stop the mosquitoes um, there's there's a there's an eco economy to all this stuff and, and how should we approach our lives what would you do with our lives I mean if I strap a bomb on myself and uh, you know blow up suffering <laughs> yeah okay I'll do it um, you know we'll, we are willing to give but people keep talking about how we've done this and how people care and, but yeah, we look at the world and we say, that doesn't make any sense. People borrowed on the future. I've said it before, but they basically, they're having kids. And they're basically sentencing their kids to work for 10 cents an hour. By borrowing money to finance having the kids. What, what sense does this end? It doesn't make any sense. It's insane. And why can't that be communicated? So that was basically the stream the cat was in, a little further upstream. But yeah, it was just on a rock in the middle of rapids, so it had nowhere to go. Um, I mean, you know, eventually I guess it would have jumped, <laughs> tried to, to find a way. But anyway, um, <sighs> uh, yeah, it's just so, it just, it just seems, it seems it's so obvious, and you're saying, well, how can something so obvious be so elusive. It's like you're watching Christina's video about God. And it's like, yeah, you ask some obvious questions, like, why would God, you know, go to all this trouble to create a silly soap opera? <laughs> you know, that's all this is. It's a, you read the Bible, it's a big, long fucking soap opera. It's a cheap, cheesy, B soap opera. There isn't even good actors in it. Um, and why would people cling to some story, a fucking story, 2,000 years old? Why would they believe that when they know what people believed? When they know that people were full of just superstition and nonsense and they have no current evidence, not one telescopic picture, not one microscopic picture of this God, and yet they'll believe. And you're saying, why is this a complex argument? Why shouldn't we be able to walk up to any human being in the world and say, uh, I come to you meaning no harm, uh, to uh, convey to you understanding that what we do will create the future, that the future is unsustainable if we don't behave in certain manner, that people will be harmed and there'll be war and there'll be strife and there'll be inadequate resources if we do not change our behavior. I mean, why, why can't this be conveyed to people through some other message than a, a girl's panties or a uh, an elegant ape. I mean, why can't people feel it and see it without it having to be reduced to simplistic mumbo-jumbo? Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm, I'm migrating from the subject. But yeah, I mean, the whole sustainable human life thing is a little unrealistic as a solution until we do what the rest of the people are doing. I mean, I'm not here because I didn't live sustainably in my previous life or something. I'm here because somebody made a decision to have kids. It had nothing to do with me. Me is just this byproduct. And so if I don't fix the problem, I'm going to me again. You know, I don't get out. Uh, I don't get free of it. I don't get to build a cabin and live a nice um, pacifist life uh, because tomorrow consciousness will arise again 
uh, in the middle of some other circumstance and it will be possessed by God or the DNA and uh, yeah so it won't be living sustainably it will be torturing other people or animals so there you go uh, so yeah there'll be no victory there'll be you know and there won't be I, I can't win that way I can win for this organism at this moment in time and space but I, that's just such an empty victory in my opinion that's like looking at 10,000 starving people um, and saying well I got one bowl of rice so yep we'll give it to one <laughs> and uh, you know that would just feel so preposterously inadequate um, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it uh, and I'm not saying you shouldn't eke through your own existence you're a happy guy and that, that's a good thing um, no point in being cranky uh, I just can't help it <laughs> you know uh, if I you know if I could just kind of uh, slide through it without it turning my guts uh, you know I would but uh, it's like being car sick or something I don't have much choice uh, just the way I react uh, to it it it, uh, it harms me it's like when I found that cat it it harmed me because I started contemplating how the fuck that cat got in that circumstance and I just started getting angry and and just there's just no excuse there's no excuse for this cat to be a piece of garbage that there was just there's no excuse for that if there's a human walking around and thinks they can throw cats in the garbage they're garbage <laughs> they need to be in the garbage so then you're just back to how to fight the war this I don't want to I don't want to do the very thing I find abhorrent to win the war who wants to have to have a, a war who wants to have to pitchfork everything to death but you, you need some sort of way to fight you can't just be told forever that you can't fight back that you're going to be tied to the gurney and uh, there's no no escape there's no power there's no hope uh, that doesn't work either uh, I mean I was even thinking this week just about the whole idea of a cult and yeah I'll form a, a suicide cult you know but it won't be suicide we'll just call it like uh, we're going a hunger strike that's what we'll call it a hunger strike and if we got enough people together if you get like 50,000 people to say look we're going on a hunger strike if you don't reform the justice system we're going on a hunger strike if you don't impeach Obama uh, we're going on a hunger strike if uh, yeah we don't uh, have a, a universal declaration of war against war or something like that uh, you know some sort of accountability mechanism or whatever the, uh, I'm just you know ranting stuff off the top of my head obviously I would if we're gonna bother doing the crack suicide squad thing I'd come up with a more concise clear pointed agenda but just this whole way to extort the human race into becoming fucking human into not only paying attention for five minutes to listen to the fucking rational message um, but to uh, you know rub it in their face in a way say that this is how dirty and disgusting your world is we'd rather die slowly than live with you pukes you're so disgusting and debaucherous and wretched the human race needs to be thoroughly insulted <sighs> yeah it really does it really needs to be insulted because it's an insult to its intelligence it's an insult to reason it's an insult to logic this idea that you can win by feeding on the others <laughs> I mean fuck it's just so stupid uh, you know I win by eating my essential equals yeah brilliant Rob the fucko uh, so where else to go with this um, yeah so Professor Anton's video blah 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 I responded to that uh, yeah Piero made some 
follow-up video to his video but my brain kind of shuts off now this Piro just babbles uh, so what the hell did he even say <sighs> the hell if I remember <laughs> yeah uh, didn't make any kind of impression obviously uh, so yeah I think I covered enough I think so yeah but I like the whole idea that you know trying to extract some sort of life out of life since you're here you got to do that so I'm okay with that I just want people to do the you know when they go into the serious room and do the serious conversations about life that they take their game hat off and uh, you know uh, take it uh, apply uh, um, rationality and take their little their little subjective nonsense and and uh, leave that at the door so to speak uh, park their dog outside uh, whatever the right analogy would be um, yeah so we you know people got to do the logic thing we're not being logical yeah hope is not the answer action is the answer finding an action that'll work that's the big question what is it how do you do this communicating thing like I said why is it so hard why is it so hard for one person to communicate something fundamental just basic to their existence I, I am you know so possessed by uh, this understanding and the logic that backs it up and I just like it just totally escapes me how it can't be conveyed to another person God is an illusion DNA is a mechanical uh, molecular structure evolving based on a concept of natural selection which could be the synonym for it would be retarded selection moronic selection <laughs> okay it chooses things because it has bigger teeth or a more vicious poison uh, not because it's elegant or beautiful or decent or loving or caring none of that doesn't care how much an organism suffers to eke out its existence and spread its seed it just isn't part of its equation how can you revere that force it's just idiotic it's insane it's crazy so anyway uh, enough of a video so we'll probably piss each other off and whatnot, but um, I'll definitely cut you some more slack. <laughs> so, till next time.